Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain time travel feature provided by Databricks in Delta Lake development. What is time travel? Time travel is nothing but traversing or traveling back and uh, forth through snapshots of Delta Lake table. What is snapshot? Snapshot is nothing but complete state of a table during a particular time. Let's say we are having 100 records in a Delta Lake table today and later we are adding 10 records. Now the table is going to contain 110 records. So there are two versions. In the previous version, it was containing 100 records. That was one snapshot. And later we added 10 records. So the table is containing 110 records. It is another snapshot of the table. So here we are having two versions. We can go back and forth. For example, I want to uh, capture the previous uh, version of the table or previous snapshot of the table. Then I can go back using some uh, methodology that is called time travel in Databricks. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. Cl cluster is up and running. And first we need to create a demo table. So I have already created a demo table. I am going to use uh, uh, the table that we have created in our previous exercise for SED type 2. So here there is a delta table SED2 demo. And I have already performed certain operations on this table. So there are various versions or various snapshots available for this table. Let me uh, query this table first. So these are the outputs. There are five rows. And I want to see what are the different snapshots or versions available for this table. So that is the first step. In order to perform time travel, we need to get the list of versions or snapshots. So that can be achieved using describe history then the delta table name. So let me execute this step to get the number of snapshots. This is the history of this particular table. There are five different versions starting from zero till four and each and every version provides the audit uh, uh, related information such as you know what kind of operation performed and how many records got uh, impacted you know, it will give the complete information but we are not going to focus on that particular part here you can see you know what are the different operations we have done the first one initially we have created the uh, table then after that we have performed write operation uh, and later we have performed one merge operation also and this is the latest version so when we are querying the table then we are going to get uh, the result of this particular snapshot based on this version number. Now I want to travel back. For example, I want to see the state of uh, version number one. Then, you know, we can do time travel. I'm going to explain. So in this video, I'm going to explain time travel using two different programming approaches. One is PySpark, another one is SQL. And coming to PySpark, Again, you know, we can perform time travel using uh, Delta Lake table or the location of the table. You know, we can um, uh, achieve a time travel using either table name or the location of the table. I will show that. And also, we can uh, time travel using either version or the timestamp. I will show both uh, versions of that as well. So let us uh, start uh, the time travel. So the first method. I am going to use PySpark. The first four methods would be PySpark. The next four methods would be SQL. And the uh, in the first uh, approach, I am going to show PySpark, timestamp and table. You know, these are the combinations I am going to provide. So this is the PySpark code. Within that, I have to give option timestamp as of. Then I am going to give the table name. Then we have to give a keyword table. This is important. We need to give table, then we have to give the table name. And in the option, we have to give timestamp as of. So basically, you know, we can get the timestamp from our version history. Now here, there is a version number and also timestamp. We can uh, take um, one. For example, you know, I want to see the state of this one. Then I can copy this uh, time and I can put it into this option. Then it is uh, going to show the snapshot of that particular time. Let me execute. See here, this is uh, 05 15 53. Th this version, you know, we are um, now querying second version. So 
when we created this table at that point of time you know what was the state that is what it is displayed here and in the second method i am going to show pyspark timestamp but this time instead of table name i want to give path so for that instead of table we have to provide load then inside we need to give the path of the table so let me execute this step this is the second method this is the third method the third method i am going to use pyspark version number and location of the table so instead of timestamp we need to provide version as of then for uh, to specify path we need to use keyword load then we need to give the location of the table so version basically we can get the version number from the history so there are four versions we can uh, traverse back and through you know back and forth using any version for example i want to see the version of 3 then let me give uh, version 3 and let me execute see here this was the snapshot touring version 3 and in the next method i am going to show pyspark version number and also table name so for that for table we have to give table then the table for uh, version number we have to give option version as of 2 let me execute this step this is giving the snapshot of version number 2 hope you understood these are the different approaches available using pyspark now i will also show you using sql using sql the syntax starts with select start from table name then using version uh, number you know we can use the keyword version as of then we need to give the version number so let me execute this step yeah this is the output same way we can give um, path instead of uh, table name we can give path so for path you now earlier for table name simply we gave the table name scd2 demo for path it starts with delta dot we need to give the location of the table then version as of 2 let me execute this step and in the next variant instead of uh, version number we are going to use timestamp so select start from table then timestamp as of we need to give the timestamp that we have taken from the history let me execute this step and the final method i am going to use a path and timestamp instead of table i am going to use a timestamp plus location of the table so location for location of the table we need to give delta dot location then for timestamp we need to use the keyword timestamp as of then we need to provide the timestamp let me execute this step this is the output these are the different approaches available to time travel in delta lake development i hope you understood the concept hope you enjoyed if you like the content of this video please like comment also subscribe this channel Don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.